Let's take a look at everything I bought at Anime Expo this year, and I'll be giving away one of these exclusive Death Note Volume 1 variant covers. So stay tuned to find out how to win. So Anime Expo was a couple weeks ago. I bought a lot of stuff and I'm excited to get a chance to show y'all everything that I picked up because uh, it was a ton of fun and I got to pick up a ton of cool different things and see a lot of cool different shops and stuff like that. Um, there were a couple of things that I wanted to buy that I didn't get a chance to pick up, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I didn't want to do too much uh, spending, number one, because, you know, spending a lot of money already to get out to the con, but number two, because uh, I wound up having to spend a lot of money with my overweight baggage to get everything back. Anyway, since I already showed that I have these volumes of Death Note, I'm gonna show everything first that I got from the Viz Media booth, which coincidentally was the first place that I went to, like literally day one, I made a beeline straight to the Viz booth because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on any of the exclusive items. Uh, most of which are no longer exclusive. I'll mention that in a second. Uh, anyway, so first up, I did get three copies of the variant cover, the exclusive variant for Death Note Volume 1. It was a limit three. Each customer could only buy three. So I got one for myself, one for a friend who had asked me to get a copy, and I need to still ship that one out, of course, because uh, I haven't done it yet. I was sick all week last week and didn't have a chance. Uh, and then, one copy that I made sure I grabbed to give away on the channel. I wanted to make sure to give one of y'all the chance to get this because if you weren't there, you wouldn't have a chance to get it. So stay tuned because later in the video, I will tell you how you can win that from me. Uh, next up, these are the items that were exclusive and they're also gonna be offered at San Diego Comic-Con, but they're also now gonna be available to purchase online through the Shonen Jump store. Uh, so that number one is the Don Da Don Beanie. Here's the front, here's the back of that one. Very nice beanie, I really like this one. Um, excited to wear it when it starts getting a little cooler outside in a few months. Uh, a Don Da Don catch-all tray. It's a pretty cool little piece here. And here's the back of that. And then the third one is a bleach skateboard deck with Ichigo on it. It's a very nice, shiny, silver skateboard deck. Um, last year, they had a Naruto deck that I also bought. So I'm gonna hang this up with that and with the uh, JoJo's deck that I got. And they just today, like before I started filming, uh, the Shonen Jump Shop, as well as having this available and those two Dandadan items, have a bunch of different bleach stuff and a bunch of different Dandadan stuff, as well as a Dandadan skateboard deck. So I'm getting a little bit of a collection of a, like a little skateboard deck collection going on, uh, which is pretty neat. So I'll just have to find some space of where I can put all of mine. Um, but anyway, if you are already subscribed to the Shonen Jump app, you should have received an email earlier today that'll give you access to the shop so you can buy the three items that I just showed as well as a bunch of other stuff. If you're not already subbed, I think you get access like tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be Thursday uh, from when I'm filming this. Uh, a couple more pieces of apparel. First up, we've got uh, I got this in honor of what was the most exciting manga license announcement for me, and that was Kadansha announcing Initial D coming back into print next year. So I got this shirt to celebrate and to make sure that any video I'm gonna make where I talk about Initial D, I have something to wear. Um, and it's it actually was just wearing it like yesterday, so it needs to be washed. Uh, one of the things interesting about this is that it has the new Kadansha K logo in it, which means that this is, this is a recent official release, is that they've already been kind of doing a little bit of marketing and whatnot for Initial D, even before making the announcement. Rather curious. I know that part of that is because MF Ghost is coming out. Uh, anyway, then we've got the hoodie that I'm wearing. There is a reason why I'm wearing a hoodie right now. Uh, this is from an artist that I've been following for a while on Twitter uh, named Think New, T-H-I-N-K-N-U. He's a fantastic artist and a really great guy. I had a nice conversation with him. Uh, he's into not just like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, but also really into comics. Um, so follow him on Twitter. I'll put his app at on the screen so you can find him. Um, his online shop is currently closed last I checked because he's got all his merch with him and he's going between conventions and stuff. But once he's done with conventions and has merch available again, I'm sure he'll reopen the shop. Um, so I got this hoodie as well as this hat. And I absolutely love the hat. Dual Pro Shops, obviously a play on Bass Pro Shops. It is 
hilarious and fantastic. This is the uh, Red Eyes Black Dragon version, but there's also a Blue Eyes White Dragon version that's like a light blue cap, same exact design, but with a different dragon on it. Uh, so very excited to have that. The only disappointment I had was that he ran out of the Red Eyes Black Dragon uh, sweater in my size. I've been wanting that for a while. It's a great sweater, similar like, you know, cartoony version of the character on it. Um, and it's it's a crew neck, not a hoodie. So no, no hood on that sweater. So hopefully in the near future, he'll have uh, the sweater available again and I can grab one. Uh, also Yu-Gi-Oh related, I got this little Joey Wheeler doll. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that Joey is my favorite character from the franchise. Uh, I absolutely love him, he's great. And so now I have this little guy here to uh, represent my love for Joey. Um, now, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, that leads me to some of the gifts that I got because it was my birthday on the 4th while the while we were out, it was the last day of the convention. Um, and so I was with my friend Steph and our friend Chantal and both of them got me a couple of gifts. Uh, first up, Chantal, speaking of Yu-Gi-Oh, got me this sign that says, uh, do not test me, I will banish you to the Shadow Realm. It has this cute like little bear caricature. The person that sold this had a bunch of different like signs with stuff like that on it. And we walked by it one day and we're pointing out like, oh, that one's you, that one's you, that one's you. And then they saw this one and said, oh, this one's, that's, that's Riley, that's, you know, that's him. And then the next day they went back and uh, Chantal had bought me that as well as this little Hamtaro uh, coaster. I love Hamtaro. If you follow me on Twitter, that's where I mostly talk about Hamtaro, or I will every chance I get. Um, but this is great, and I've been using this ever since I got back. And then Steph got me a couple things as well. Steph got me this print of uh, Wolfwood from Trigun. This is my favorite character in all of Trigun, and one of my favorite characters in all of manga and anime. So very cool print. I'm going to get that framed at some point in the near future. Um, Steph also grabbed me a Wolfwood uh, sticker. It was Wolfwood with uh, like Kermit the Frog doll, but I have that elsewhere. Uh, and Steph got me this recyclable pee pee poo poo bag. Uh, it says pee pee poo poo on it. Kind of looks like the thank you bags. And then instead of have a nice day, it says have a nice poo on the bottom. I think Steph got one for herself as well. But this is a really, I, I'm a child and I, I don't know if I've expressed it recently, but like I love poop jokes and I'll make like, you know, pee pee poo poo jokes all the time. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a small child, but I know what I like. I know what I'm about. Anyway, moving on, we have some other cool stuff here. Um, I'm gonna show a couple of the books before I get into the rest of this is all stuff from uh, from the Kinokuniya shop over at the convention. Uh, so I'll show the two that I didn't get from Kinokuniya, which was Project Arms volumes six and 10. I've been slowly collecting volumes of this series. It's an older uh, Viz action title, I think was published in Shonen Sunday back in the day. Um, so I've just been buying volumes whenever I can find them. Uh, th there was a, at least one shop, there were several shops of course that had manga, but one that just had tons, I think it was Anime Pavilion. Um, but it was like, it was halfway really well organized, but halfway like not shelved because they ran out of space. So there was literally just like tubs on top of tubs on top of tubs. And I was sitting there like lifting these tubs, each of which had like at least 200 volumes of manga and like trying to sort through every single one. But there was A, too many tubs and B, too many people for me to really do that without being an annoyance. So I did a brief sweep through the place. I looked through maybe a third of those tubs that were not unpacked uh, before I decided, you know, I'm not gonna make people wait for me because the rest of our party was just standing waiting for me to be done. And also I had to get to a panel uh, within like the hour, so I didn't have time to do that. But that's what I found. I'm glad that I at least found something that I needed in there. Um, now, the last part of the hall is a, well, it's a big part, but it is the last section of the hall, is everything I picked up from Kino Kunia. Um, a few of these are actually not from Kino, but it kind of leans into the Kino stuff anyway, because I got one of these from Kino, the rest from another seller, and that is Cowboy Bebop soundtracks on CD. Now this seems stupid because it's like, oh, why are you buying CDs? Like no one uses CDs. But it, when I saw them, I was like, I've always wanted to own the official CDs of the, the Cowboy Bebop soundtracks. And finally, 
finally I picked them up and it meant so much more to me. I posted a TikTok about this a couple days ago. It's when I got them home, I realized that these meant so much more to me than I had thought they would. Cause I have, and I still have them on a shelf over there. Um, burned copies of these same CDs. These four plus the other two, Vitamin List and Ask DNA. The one, I still need to get the official ones of those now. Uh, I've had burned copies of those since like 2002, 2003 when I first saw Cowboy Bebop. I fell in love with the soundtrack and I didn't have access to buy the official CDs. Here's the second one, no disc. I didn't have access to buy the official CDs, nor did I really have the money to do so when I was like 12. So I did what any other kid at the time would do, and I found the songs online and I burned them onto recordable CDs, CDRs. Um, and here's the third one, Blue, which I think this is my favorite of the like show soundtracks. Uh, fantastic CD here. And I still have the, the bootleg, you know, the burned copies and bringing these home and seeing these next to the burned copies was just kind of cathartic, I guess, and made me feel like I was sitting in the room with 12 year old me and the two of us were like sharing a moment. Like 12 year old me finally got to, to see that like one of these little goals in, in his like young collector's eyes was finally fulfilled 20 years later. Um, and then here's the movie soundtrack, Knocking on Heaven's Door, Future Blues. This is, this is my favorite. Of the show soundtracks, Blue is my favorite. This though is the best of the, the Bebop CDs, in my opinion, hands down. Um, so yeah, it's silly, like I said, to, to get CDs in 2023, but I'm so happy that I did and I'm, I'm upset though because it's making me feel like I should start collecting more CDs because now I'm like, oh, I want to get some of the other ones that I had burned copies of back in the day, like the Trigun uh, first and second donuts uh, CDs and the, the Furikuri soundtracks and stuff like that. And like Initial D would be another great one to get on CD. Anyway, the rest of my Kinokuniya stuff, uh, I grabbed that exclusive. Uh, Variant cover for uh, Junji Ito's Tombs. So if you haven't seen it, here's what it looks like front, back, and spine. And then of course they give you this little uh, Ito Shikishi board that has the image from the official, or the, the regular cover of Tombs. And I also, being that I am a huge JoJo's fan, I grabbed all the, every time I go to a Kino, I grab whatever JoJo's magazines and stuff they have. So I got the most recent issue of JoJo Magazine, which I think was from like last December. Uh, this image that wraps around has like all of the, the main characters from parts one through eight. I haven't obviously opened it yet. Um, not that I'm trying to like not open it, because collectible or whatever, I just haven't gotten around to opening it yet. Um, this one though, I might not open, and that is the first issue of Ultra Jump with the Jojo Lands in it. So this one's really cool, really nice collectible item to have as a fan of the franchise. This one I probably will open. Uh, this is for, I think chapter four was in this one. We have uh, Jodio as well as Rohan on the cover. And then it comes with, this is why I'll probably open it, it comes with a little plastic folder. Uh, if, if you're unfamiliar, a lot of magazines will come with little extras like that sometimes. Um, so we'll probably open that one soon. We'll put these on the ground here. One more smaller book. I probably should have shown this one before the JoJo stuff because the last two big items are both JoJo related. Uh, but also to celebrate Initial D, I got the Initial D art book. This is great. Um, I'm gonna have this occupying space on my shelf uh, waiting for those copies of the new Initial D uh, two-in-ones from Kadansha to come out. Really great art book, just a bunch of images from the series. Uh, I'm so excited that this is coming back. So when I saw this uh, in the Kino, I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get that. I gotta pick it up. Now, the, the big thing, the, the final two pieces, these are, if, if you've been watching, like if you've seen my channel for a while and you uh, have seen like my, my, um, my library tour videos, you know that I, not only am I a huge JoJo's fan, but I've collected like all the JoJo art books from Japan, but there's a couple of them 
uh, are the big main things that I did not yet have. One of those was Jojo A Go Go. And the other one, this is the one I was super excited to get, is Jojo Beller. Now, I this I think is not the like the special super de duper uh, edition of Jojo Beller. I think there's another one that like comes with a, a DVD or something. But this one is, I'm I'm happy with what I have because it is beautiful. Now I'm going to show uh, the Jojo a Go Go first. So that was just an outside box, and the box has a little thing that spins on it, so some of the faces can rotate on there. And inside of the box, we have the illustrations book, Jojo A Go Go, massive hardcover. Um, I'm not gonna do too much flipping around inside, but here's a look at some of the artwork on the inside. Beautiful illustrations, uh, great, just huge representations. Uh, this is, you know, when I was growing up, my mom had like a Monet coffee book coffee table book. This is my coffee table book. The, <laughs> don't, don't, you know, eat on my coffee table because I don't want you to mess up my book, but that's, you know, it's the same type of feeling, this huge, like beautiful uh, art book. Then it also comes with two smaller books. This one just labeled Araki Hirohiko on the outside uh, has a bunch of stuff on the inside, various just stuff that I can't read because I don't know Japanese, but then some other images as well. And then a book that says stands on the outside. And this one, as the, it would suggest, has a bunch of information about the stands. So this was very cool, very neat. Now, Jojo Veller, the, the big one, the one that I'm super excited about, this one on the outside comes in this uh, box that looks like a parcel. And then if you open it up, on the inside, you get the primary hardcover, this beautiful piece uh, that has Josuke from part eight on there. And look at that. It's just one of the most beautiful books that I have, period. Uh, about the same trim size, I believe, as the other one. And just filled, again, with a bunch of really beautiful, this is just a, an end page that's in there that has like maps. Uh, on inside the cover, or not an end page, like a, a, a leaflet to do stuff in there. Anyway, uh, here's some Rohan artwork as well, showing that as well as I can. Uh, so yeah, I am so excited that I finally got to add these two books into my collection. They are just stunning art books, and just like Jojo A Go Go, this one comes with some extra books as well. This one first titled uh, history and this one has More stuff that I can't read because I don't know how to read Japanese, but that's okay And the other one comes with is another stands book so an updated Book about all of the stands from the series um, so I am so excited that I finally got to add these two massive and beautiful art books into my collection. And that wraps up the haul. Now, I've shown the haul, you've been patient, so how can you get a copy of the Death Note Deluxe Edition? This is the 20th anniversary of Volume 1. Not a Deluxe Edition, but the Variant Edition of Volume 1. Here's a look at it. There's the white spine. There's the back, the art on the back. How do you get a copy of this? Uh, I wanna keep things simple. Number one, I apologize, but it's gotta be within the US. Unless you want to pay for shipping, I will give that option to you. If you enter and you're not in the US, but you still want a copy of this because it is a limited release, I do wanna give y'all a, a chance you will have to pay for the shipping. If you're fine with that and you're international, go ahead and join in, just know that. If you're within the US, I'll cover the shipping for the media mail shipping. Be following me on here, number one. Be subscribed to my page. Number two, leave a comment on this video, basically just to state that you want to get a copy of this book. Put hashtag giveaway at the top of the comment so that I know that you are interested in winning this. Then in about a week, I'll come in and I'm going to choose a random comment, someone who commented hashtag giveaway. I will choose you your comment. I will comment 
like a reply to you to let you know that you've won and you'll have about 24 to 48 hours to reply to me so that I can get your information. Make sure that you are either 18 or older or if you're under the age of 18, you have permission from a parent or guardian to enter this giveaway because of the fact that I'm going to need to get your, uh, your name and your address so that I can ship the book to you. And I want to make sure that any parents or guardians are not going to be upset that some stranger on the internet is getting some personal information from you. But if you're an adult, you can make that decision for yourself. So I will choose someone at random about a week after I post this video. You'll have a day or two to respond to my reply so that I can get your info and then I'll get that out to you. Remember, if you're international, you are able to enter, but you will have to pay for the international shipping. If you're okay with that, then you're by, by all means enter. Good luck to everyone though. I hope, you know, whoever wins, I'm happy for you. I'm sorry I couldn't get more than one additional copy to give away. Good luck. And with that, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope that this was entertaining just to see the stuff that I picked up. It was a really fun time this year at Anime Expo. I cannot wait to go next year. And I'm planning on going, uh, I couldn't make it out to San Diego Comic-Con this year, but I am planning on going to Anime NYC. So if you're gonna be there in several months, I will see you there. Uh, if you're not yet subscribed, well, if you've, you're wanting to enter the, the giveaway, you better be subscribed. But if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that sub button and uh, get notified for all the upcoming stuff I put out. Press a like button on here to help with the algorithm, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.